welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Donatello and this is The Way. We are reading Jesus Calling, a 365 daily devotional written by Sarah Young, talking about peace in Jesus's presence. It's April 11th and we're jumping right in. This is the day I have made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Begin the day with open hands of faith, ready to receive all that I am pouring into this brief portion of your life. Be careful not to complain about anything, even the weather. Since I am the author of your circumstances, the best way to handle unwanted situations is to thank me for them. This act of faith frees you from resentment and frees me to work my ways into the situation so that good emerges from it. To find joy in this day, you must live within its boundaries. I knew what I was doing when I divided time into 24-hour segments. I understand human frailty, and I know that you can bear the weight of only one day at a time. Do not worry about tomorrow or get stuck in the past. There is abundant life in my presence today. This is from Psalms 118, verse 24, and Philippians 3:13. To 14. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It may seem like same day, different stuff, but each day is so unique in what God is teaching you, what God is building in you, and what he's trying to form in you. When you wake up, wake up and say thank you. Thank you for waking me up this day. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the obstacles that I'm going to have to endure. Thank you for the good things you're going to bring me, the blessings along the way. Thank you for all of it. And I give it to you and I allow you to take it and work with it what you will. Work within all of my day. I started waking up and literally opening my hands up and saying, thank you, Lord. I'm ready to receive whatever it is that you have for me today. Palms open, facing up, ready to receive. Be careful not to complain about anything, even the weather, since I am the author of all your circumstances. When we pick apart little things, little things become so big. We allow one thing to be a deterrent, and then all of a sudden, everything else is going downhill. Give thanks and praise for this day. Give praise for the rainy weather that's happening right now. Give praise for the situation that just didn't work out, the miscommunication, all of it. Every last detail God has crafted. He's saying it right here. I have crafted everything for you. Each day specifically done. And our God does not make mistakes. Our God is so fantastic and so perfect that everything he does is intentional. So the rain right now outside, intentional. Now it may not be raining where you are, but where I am it is. And so everything here is gloom. It looks very gloomy and it's very easy to fall into a, ah, oh, well it's gloomy and it's rainy and I don't wanna do anything. And you know, it's easy to slip into that. But instead thinking, ah, okay, it's rainy. God is watering the earth. He is making the plants that are outside, feeding them so that they will bloom and there'll be beautiful flowers and beautiful trees all around. He's giving the earth back what it needs. And then it reminds me of Isaiah 55, eight to 12. He's essentially saying, my word is bond. What I say goes and it won't return to me void. Right? As the water falls from the sky and does not return to it without watering the earth, so is my words will not return void to me. And now something so simple as a rainy day, that could have been taken and made the whole day bleh. But instead, giving him thanks and praise and thinking of it in another light, open the door for scripture to flow in. And when the scripture flows in, then my heart becomes full and I'm joyful and I'm into the moment and the day shifts, it changes. Giving thanks isn't just about saying thank you with a begrudging attitude. It's about understanding that everything is being done for you. 
just like a parent has to make decisions that a child may not like, they have to be disciplined. They have to learn, they have to be patient and guide them along. And at times things don't work out the way we want and a child gets frustrated and doesn't understand why the parent is doing this. But the parent knows better. The child may want to eat all this candy and the parent stops them and the child is mad. But the parent knows that this will make the child sick in the near future. And so they make that decision to take care of their child even though the child doesn't understand. Now, does the child thank the parent? No, of course not. It's a small child, but we, we are not small children. We can acknowledge that the things God is doing in our lives, though we don't understand it, though we don't, may not like it, it is being done for our benefit. Because God can see what is up ahead. He knows what is up ahead. And so he's preventing something, preventative measures for you, protecting you from what is in the near future. So why not give him praise and thanks for this? Thank you for your protection over this situation. You and your friend got into a fight. Thank you, Lord, for this fight. Thank you for this. That makes no sense to say, but God is protecting you in that moment. The best way to handle unwanted situations is to thank me for them. This act, this act of faith frees you from the resentment and frees me to work my ways into situations so that good emerges from it. When we hold on to resentment, anger, and we don't give thanks to God, we're making it difficult on ourselves in multiple forms. God says, when you say thank you and release it to me, you give it all to me and place it at the foot of the cross, what you're doing is saying, I trust you. I have faith in you and I trust you completely. Take hold of this. And then God can come right in and transform this situation that looks so horrible and turn it into something beautiful for your benefit. Don't make things harder on yourself. Become aware of when you're starting to slip into a negative state of mind. And when that happens, stop yourself and thank God for it. Thank you for this moment of frustration, Lord. What is it that you're trying to tell me here? Why am I so frustrated? Why did I let this get under my skin? Why is this bothering me so much? I don't understand, Lord. Help me to have vision to understand why it is bothering me internally. And thank you. Thank you for these emotions, these feelings, so I can figure out what's going on beneath the surface here. And thank you for being here with me, holding my hand as I go through this to figure it out. And it doesn't matter if it's such a small thing like someone cutting you off. You have road rage for a reason. You didn't just wake up and say, okay, I have road rage. No, something in your past formed this. Something that has to deal with rejection or control or whatever it is. A seed was planted long time ago and it is slowly poisoning the well. Let's give God thanks for this. Let's thank him for the ability to notice when we start to get frustrated, when we start to get negative, when we start to get in our heads and start to become this miserable person in the moment because we're woe is me. And instead, let's give thanks to God. Let's give him all the glory for the moment and allow him to strip away all the frustration and fill you with his peace, fill you with his joy and fill you with his feeling of love because that's what he wants to do. And that's what he's going to do when you allow him to have access to your heart, when you allow him to have access to everything you are by giving him thanks, giving him praise, allowing him to flow freely through you and transform each situation for your good. To find joy in this day, you must live within its boundaries. I knew what I was doing when I divided time into 24 hour segments. I understand human frailty. I know that you can bear the weight of only one day at a time. We think so much in the future. We plan our what ifs. Sometimes we're missing living in the present because we're so consumed with the future or the past. And God created 24 hours in a day because he knew that's all we could take. So why in the world would we want to make it harder on ourselves? 
by putting more than 24 hours on ourselves. We're taking all these days and piling it on top of us and then trying to carry it with us through this day. And when we do that, we miss all the blessings, all the glorious gifts and everything that God has given us in this day. And you could think, okay, well, today is miserable. I don't see anything. Maybe you're not looking. Maybe that calls for a shift in your mentality, a shift in your perception. Just because it's raining outside and it's gloomy doesn't mean it's a bad day. Doesn't mean that there isn't beauty in this. Just because the rain makes my bones hurt mm, doesn't mean that it's still not beautiful. Doesn't mean there can't be a rainbow that appears. Doesn't mean it's not doing any good because it's doing much good. There is so much to find in the day. Now I have time. I. We're stuck inside, okay. Quality time with my son. We get to go and do his new schooling today. There's so many little things that I could find, but I could also just fixate on the one thing, the one thing that went wrong. But I'm going to choose to say thank you, Lord, for this gloomy day. Thank you for your word. And I am ready to receive what you have today. It opens this door up, this feeling up. It is just, ah, I feel the presence of God right now with me because I feel it so strongly when I say thank you and I give him the praise and I allow him to take control. Do not worry about tomorrow or get stuck in the past. There is abundant life in the present today. Live in the moment today. Don't miss out on your moments, on your time, on everything that's beautiful in the day because you're stuck on tomorrow or you're stuck on what happened in the past, what you should have done, what you should have said, how you should have acted. It's done. But today is here. Don't miss today thinking about the past or the present. Everything else will worry about itself. You focus on God. Focus on thanking him and focus on the great gifts that he's given you here today. If you need to, get out a piece of paper and start writing down things. It may take you a minute if you're having a rough day, but you can go back to it. Carry it with you through the day. But when you start to feel that frustration, take it out and read it. And see, ah, oh, this was a blessing. That was a blessing. Oh, this was so good. God is so good. And remind yourself who is on the throne. I love you guys so much. God loves you so much. Happy Sunday. I'll see you back later for more Jesus Calling.